you to compare this to any of your previous rig nights, just given the circumstances, but uh, you know, wondered how that that transition from the emotion of you know the I Promise kids, your family, and then the game starts. Uh, how do you think, if at all, it impacted the first quarter, and how did that impact the game? Uh, it's just weird on all facets, to be honest. Just a weird day. Um, you know, celebrating a historic moment with our franchise and a historic run what we did last year, and then having to do it without our family and friends and our fans. It's just a uh, just a weird day, and all in all, and then having to get straight to competition basketball. Um, just a, just a, just a weird day, honestly, to say the least. Anything stand out initially just from the basketball in this game? Well, obviously, um, we, we didn't play to what we wanted to do in the first quarter, and they came out like gangbusters and uh, hit us in the mouth, which was perfectly fine. You know, because they would stand there, get back into the game, make a game out of it, and. Um, they did a good job of closing the third quarter out and kind of spreading that lead. We weren't able to get back into the game after that. But this game one, um, it's the first test for us. We've literally been together for nine days. Um, as a full group, uh, we got some returning guys, but we got a lot of new pieces that's going to play a big role in our, in our, in our, um, in our success this year. So uh, we look forward to watching the film tomorrow and get better from tonight. Thanks. Dave? You need to come off mute, Dave. Thanks, LeBron. Uh, you called it a weird day, but certainly when we saw you walk away from center court holding the ring, marveling at the details of it, did you get an appreciation for it? Uh, there's you know, a ton of references to what you guys went through last season, 17 amethysts for the 17 championships, 9, 0.95 carats for 95 days in the bubble. Uh, could you speak about the ring? I mean, it was just a culmination of what we've been through, you know, in uh, 2019 to 20. You know, so many, um, so many uh, ups and downs, uh, a lot of adversity, um, just so many storylines and so many things that happened, both good and bad for our franchise. Um, you know, for that to um, you know, come, you know, cultivate the whole season, uh, bring it into all one uh, moment um, to be able to celebrate that moment with my teammates and our and our franchise. Um, like I said, uh, you know, it was a pretty cool feeling, but at the end of the day, you would definitely love to be able to do that with the fans, do that with our family, um, our friends, because they they, they they pay sacrifice to that as well, you know, um, throughout the whole season. So, um, you know, like I said, happy to be a part of it, but, um, you know, bitter, bittersweet for sure. Dan? Hey, LeBron, um, you mentioned sort of the weirdness. It's, it's only been 72 since you guys won that trophy that was at center court. Um, that's part of the reason why I'm sure your minutes were what they were tonight. How weird is that um, to be at the start of a season and not really turning the engine and pushing the gas all the way or even more so than you normally would? Yeah, you know, I'm uh, another day is over with, you know, I'm uh, very uh, proud of what we was able to accomplish. Um, I'm excited to move on to the next day. Um, like I said, it was, uh, you know, it was just, it even felt weird just having a basketball game today. You know, um, you know for me personally, um, probably for a lot of the other guys, but, you know, I'm happy we was able to get our foot underneath us, happy we was able to get back on the floor. We know, um, you know, what this season is going to, you know, entail, but, you know, now we can move on. You know, we can move on from last year to the season. Um, it was a hell of a run for us in 1920, um, but now we can focus on 2021. So, um, you know, look forward to that. Speaking of feet, yeah. how, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Dan. You can go ahead. I was just going to say, speaking of feet, how's the ankle? Um, it seemed like it got caught up underneath you a little bit. Yeah, it did. Um, I turned it pretty good, but um, I don't think it's going to um, stop me from um, playing on Friday. So, got a couple of days. You know, obviously, you know how. I am about treatment, so I'll do that around the clock, and uh, I think I should be fine right now. Hey, LeBron, two two questions. Uh, first of all, you had your phone on the court with you during the ring ceremony. Were you FaceTiming somebody, or what, what were you? Yeah, I FaceTimed my wife first to see if she uh, – I wanted her to be a part of that for sure. Um, she didn't answer the phone, um, and then I FaceTimed my mom, and my mom answered, and uh, – um, I showed my mom what we were doing at that point in time, even though it was on television. I kind of just wanted her to be a part of it in the best way, shape, or form of her actually being there. Um, so I was on the phone with my mom all the way up until, um, you know, the, the ring started going. I could kind of pay attention to my teammates and see what was going on with the Jumbotron. But 
uh, that was a pretty cool, um, pretty cool feeling for me personally. And then the second question just was, uh, it was is it is it just hard to be back at game one and at the, at the starting line, you know, given that last year was everything that it was and it was such a marathon and 13 months to get to the mountaintop? Is it just hard for you to process starting over? It's not the fact that it's starting over. It's the fact that it's here already. Um, you know, I've always had a routine of how I prepare going into a season um, after a finals run or after a playoff run, knowing – the amount of time that I kind of have um, to for my body, for my mind, um, you know, for the team that we're going to be. Um, and it was just so much uncertainty of when we're going to start the season, how we're going to start the season. Is it going to be December? Is it going to be early December? Is it going to be Christmas? Is it going to be January? Is it going to be all these other things? And then boom, December 1st training camp, first game of the season is happening on the 20, on the 22nd. So, it was just a lot. Um, I can't even sit here and lie to you. It was just, it was too much to kind of grasp. Um, so, uh, but we're in it now. Like I said, I'm happy today is, you know, it's, it's, it's over with and uh, we can focus on the season, but it's just a lot. It's a lot to process. Okay, last two questions. Um, Kyle Bloom. Hey, LeBron. Um, you know, Frank has talked about, um, you know, he, he wants to make more conservative decisions um, with UNAD. Uh, especially just in this early part of the season. Um, I've, you, you checked out with about eight minutes left or so. Can you imagine some situations in the next couple of weeks where, you know, the, the Lakers are trying to reduce your minutes and make sure that you're staying safe, but you also feel like you might want to go into a game? Yeah, that's going to be a fun, you know, it'll be a balance. And obviously um, coach decided me to, you know, coach and uh, my trainer Mike decided to hold me out those last eight minutes. Uh, one, the, the game, you know, we, you know, we kind of got down 13. Those, they were they were on the flow. They were flowing, and they were had more momentum more than we had. And also, I had just turned my ankle as well. So, you know, they made the the, the judgment to hold me out. Um, there will be games where there will be a fine line of, oh, well, balance of, okay, should I go back in if I'm at that minutes, from high in minutes, or, you know, um, should I stay out? So, now that's what communication is all about between myself and, uh, you know, and, and Coach and Mike as well. So, um, you know, it's game by game. Last question, Rachel. Hey, LeBron, what are you going to do with your ankle? You've had so many ankle turns over the years. What is your routine to get it ready for Friday? Uh, I'll go home and have dinner right now, and uh, I'll ice it, and um, and I'll drink some wine that'll float right to the ankle. Mm -hmm. right, that's the recovery I can have. Uh, Important. Yeah, yeah, I'll make sure I drink on the left side of my body so it just goes <laughs> right down to my left leg, right down to my ankle. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be around the clock. I'll wake up tomorrow morning before I leave the house and also get some more treatment and then get some at the facility as well and just continue to do that. You know, um, we have a couple of days. So, um, I, like I said, I, I feel like I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you, Lamar. I appreciate it. All right, 30 seconds left. Big game, James. What are you looking forward to on Christmas against the Mavs? Hey, that's going to be a good game. Luka Doncic is coming in here. Well-coached team. Uh, Lakers will get to the video, get a little rest. Yeah. Come back strong. I think as LeBron said, they're ready to go home, go to bed, put the night behind them, Why? and start, start over. Uh, and it's another opportunity for them to get better, both ends of the yeah. floor. Strange opening night, though, right? You get your rings. He's right. It's just no one there. It, it, yeah. it really continues to be... Kind of just takes a little bit of your it, mojo it's away crazy. because you're, you know you're celebrating, you're getting the ring, everybody's excited. And then you look, did a good job of moving without the ball in the second quarter. We need more of that for four quarters, Geeta. Great breakdown there, James. Uh, I want to talk new guys. We got four of them. Got some notes here. Schroeder, we'll start with him. Then we're going to talk Trez. Those guys together, I thought looked pretty good. Frank uh, talked about Gasol. Said my fault. Need to use him better more as a facilitator. We know teams are going to try to extend him, put pressure on him that way, and Wes Matthews is going to find his way. So let's start with Montrezl Harrell and Dennis Schroeder. Loved what I saw from those two guys. Oh, Dennis was fast, on, on both changed ends of the pace, floor. Yep. looked great. I thought there was different moments with him and Trez, with him and Marcus Saul, with him and Anthony Davis in the pick and roll situations, the one-two game, uh, the different options in which he can provide you on the floor, being able to knock down the three ball, um, he can do a little bit of everything. It, but what I've loved about him is as much as we've talked about him as a scorer, large in part because he was that sixth man of the year runner-up scoring off the bench a season ago, he was getting 
after it on the defensive end of the floor. The head of the snake providing that kind of energy. I, I like that you brought that up. You and I were kind of watching the game, looking back, talking to each other, and he, he switches at the right time, he communicates, he gets into guys. But I just love his change of pace, James. And I just feel like there's going to be nights, you know, we, we, we're talking out there, all of us. He, he's also a guy when a team's on a run, he's going to get you a bucket. Yeah, you know he's, he's going to make them unpredictable. When teams are expecting us to go to LeBron or AD, Shooter has the ability to break you down and get to the cup. He's a shot maker. He hits floaters. Uh, he can hit the three. He can also uh, distribute the basketball. So I'll give these guys a few more games to get to get playing together, and he's going to be a, a key factor in that offense because of his being unpredictable, and he's, he can make some shots. What did you feel about Trez? Watch him on Trez. I, Amazing. Yeah. Uh, six or seven from the field. Only, well, it, missed, only it, missed two free throws. Is it the motor? Uh, it's the motor, yeah. Geeter, and I think they got to get used to him. He's a diver. Yeah. So when you're looking to pass to him, you should expect him to be diving and get it to him because he's that type of player. He's going to get offensive rebounds. Uh, I think he's going to be a huge factor. Uh, you know, we don't have the, 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 the height and I, shot blockers. I, I, I was just going to say, but don't Mark have Fresh will come from the weak side. Yes, he will. And he can, he can disrupt some shots. So. Maybe not the height, but the toughness is there. Doesn't have a length we're used to seeing in that role, but he, he makes up for it. And sometimes it's a part of the second and the third effort that you're not expecting yeah. uh, as an offensive player. But the other thing that I liked about him as well is he doesn't need the ball necessarily to play downhill. Yeah. He's going to find a way to get to the rim, but not need the ball in his hands. And so it continues to put pressure on the defense. They're so used to it coming from guys like LeBron and Anthony Davis. But when he can play out of that pick and roll action and continue to put that pressure... It's dominant. It's yeah, dynamic. I look, I, I look for he and Schroeder to have the same kind of relationship that, that Lou Williams yeah. and he had when going to the cup, little dish passes. It'll come. I know it's not the debut we all wanted from Marcus Gasol. Marcus Gasol will probably tell you that same thing. Early foul trouble, never could find a rhythm, wasn't as involved offensively as Frank said. And, and like I said, teams defensively are, are going to try to do some different things with him because he is a little bit older, James, but he still knows how to use his body and he knows how to play. I don't know. I just have too much respect for him to, to, to panic yet on Mark Gasol. Oh, no need to panic. <laughs> he's no a pro. Panic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he's, a, he's an all-star. He's a defensive player of the year. And he still has some basketball left in his motor. I think it's just a matter of getting used to playing. He started tonight, and I think that's probably what he's going to do. But get him with the right combination. Vogel might have to play a little bit, get him with the right guys where he can be productive.